like like an ultimate. I mean, it was pretty much almost as good as Malphite's ultimate there. It just doesn't have the blink included. I don't know what Fiddle... Fiddle's getting a little crazy there. Oh, yeah, another Malphite ultimate. Oh, and uh, I used my second ability on to kill him, which is extremely risky because... Uh, Using W to kill someone, if you don't kill them, they're going to be very far away from you after that. So you got to be super careful. But uh, I think the tower was hitting him too, so it's... I don't know. I don't I don't think I was actually thinking the W would kill him. I think I was just trying to knock him closer to like my allies or something. So, <clears throat> yeah, I, I barely got away there. Nunu misclicked by using a snowball on the, the dude that was next to me instead of me. And then he, he started trying to chase me into the tower. He just got really confused and crazy, so I should have died there, but I didn't. <clears throat> so that's cool. And you can see I'm already up to like half health when um, like that fight just happened because of all the regen and the heal. And uh, the Heart of Gold and the Philosopher's Stone, like for a character like Alistair that's so bad at farming, it's the only way you're going to get money. Like it'll... Yeah, and I'm just following the guide here, that's why I don't have the boots of mobility yet, and uh, I mean, I, I do have Ghost and Flash, and once Alistair gets in the fight, he just has to like, I don't know, positioning is very important with Alistair, but sometimes you just gotta take damage and keep using your abilities, and uh, what was I talking about? Now, yeah, there's, there's characters like Alistair, that getting a Heart of Gold and a Philosopher's Stone, it's, it, I don't know, it kind of seems like it's going to like double your income for the game just because they're so bad at farming. And I always wish that Alistair's Q would be a lower cooldown, but now I kind of realize... So I randomly meet Nunu. -Nu. Um, the nice thing about the Q is the position doesn't matter, you just have to be right next to them. And so I can just tap in and run around him so I don't really have to think that hard. And, uh, oh god, I don't know why the world goes here. I think I might push. I don't know where, who I push, but uh, yeah, they realize they're not going to kill me. That was just a weird fight. I think the real mistake was that Warwick came from behind when we were safe under the tower, so we kind of walked out and one dude died, so Warwick kind of messed up there a little bit. But uh, I mean, I'm, I don't like to complain about my teammates, and I hope I, I mean, I, I say the stuff that I do wrong, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, after this game, I think I'm going to start doing more ranked, but the thing is, when I play ranked, um, yeah, I'm really surprised that they're not super scared of me, because I'm going to, like, throw Yi over there, but... Lucky for him, there was like a couple more shots of the our out uh, of the enemy creeps. I barely don't have enough mana here. It would have been perfect if I had a little bit more mana. Um, one thing about this build compared to the old one is it's not as much mana regen. Oh god! See, I, I walked around Yu Yu because I wanted to use W, but I couldn't. My mana. Having some serious mana troubles here. Um, I really just want to get like another Q off or something, but once and I, I pushed Cannon away because I knew he would certainly kill me, and I'm sure Blitz just killed me with like his ult or the hook. But uh, we're getting a little out of position here. Like I feel like we're getting in team fights where we're in bad positioning and everybody else is trying to run in to help, but. They're just running into like a meat grinder. Um, and this this Shirelli's revenge item, <clears throat> I've never like when I played, they didn't have this yet. So I think that's kind of cool that they made Philosopher's Stone build into something because I always wanted to get that item because I just love I love regen and I love gold gold per second items. Um, and that's that's really just because I play a lot of Al Alistair, and I also play a very tanky, weird Blitz build. Maybe I'll show you guys some time. I don't know if it's the best Blitz build, but I didn't like the way the other ones worked. I might try another Blitz build sometime, but uh, anyways, um, I'm probably going to be doing ranked after this because I figure if people are going to watch a YouTube channel, 
for League of Legends, they'd want to watch a high ranked person's channel. And I'm not saying that I'm like super good, I'm gonna get high ranked, but like, um, in Heroes of New Earth, I was over 1700 PSR, and that's pretty high ranked. Um, like, the ridiculous people were at 1800, and uh, the, the pretty good above average people were 1600, so I was. That, that was pretty good elo in that game and but the thing is I'm gonna have to only play certain characters if I want to get my score up like a Nivea that's gonna be my next um, my next commentary because um, a Nivea I just do really well at her um, and probably maybe like Singed or something. I always do good at Singed, maybe Blitzcrank. But uh, what I'll try to do is I'll try to use the characters I'm using. Um, so this Akali gets away. Oh <laughs> yeah, I put E way out of position with my abilities. But all my stuff's on cooldown, but my, I mean my ult made it so I didn't take any damage there. Like... Did I just use my Q and nothing happened? I don't know. It, look, it looks grim for us. Sometimes I feel a little helpless as Alistair because I can't just like run up and kill someone and like just deal a lot of damage. I just gotta like keep using my heal and stuff. Um, I do get... I think... Was Warden's Mail cooldown reduction? I don't get that item enough to remember. But I think I do get some cooldown reduction items and that helps be able to spam my abilities more. And I do like the Boots of Mobility on Alistair just because he's so slow and once you get in the fight, I don't feel like positioning is as important as someone like like Blitz or Cho, because those are the other characters you might get the fast the faster move speed boots. Um Oh yeah, so I catch up to him, knock him back. But no Lux is any mana, so whatever. But it's worth a try, but I don't know, the I the trade-off with Alistair, even though I can't just run up and kill people, is like I can just mess with people a lot. And it's really funny. Oh Fiddle. I think Fiddle thought they were all gonna fight me, so he started channeling, but you shouldn't assume. So I'm like, oh Oh man. Yeah, this is really out of position. And I don't even know why I walked back that way when I, when Fiddle was just gonna get instantly gibbed. Insta gibbed. Um, so yeah, we're getting. We're in trouble here. They're like tower diving us, meeting us in the forest. I think things started getting bad when. Um, we just started having these team fights where everybody's really out of position, and uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I felt kind of helpless at this point, and then I'm not sure what item I was looking for there. But uh, anyways, I was talking about the plan for this channel. I'm probably gonna raise my ranking with the characters I'm really good at, but I'll I'll try to do the casts of different characters, like the commentaries, um, maybe in normal games, when I w just to show normal characters, unless people like to see me play higher, like, higher ranked games with the characters I'm good at, but I don't know, it just, it just gets so boring to me, like when I watch a stream and someone just play, plays the same character over and over and over and over, and <clears throat> I really like to switch it up a lot. Um, I get bored of no, characters pretty I'm easily, angry. and uh, so we you can see like, we're at this point we're being pretty passive, there's not much we can do to the enemies, the enemies should be just grouping up and pushing, but I mean, so here I'm like, oh I'll knock him in the air, I should have tried, I don't think I was able to get at the right angle and knock him towards a colleague. But, uh, I don't think my ult, did I use my ult? Yeah, I'm just, so yeah, I was able to use my Q and blink out, and that was 
very close, and that causes the enemies to like run into the tower to chase us, which usually mean, means you're gonna win the fight. If, if but if that would have happened like halfway through the game before they got so farmed off of us, we that would have turned the game in our favor. But at this point, they're just too far ahead to make that like a lethal move. And uh. I mean, I'm not really sure why we're, we're losing. Um, sometimes when I play support, I feel like... Um, like, when you, you play Alistar, Soraka, like, you feel kind of helpless to rely on your teammates to kill people. And I don't know if, like, I'm, I'm higher elo than the other people on my team. Like, Lux seems really good. Uh, Warwick, I think think, except for that one fight where he put us out of position, that was bad. But I can understand his mistake there, like back in the bottom forest, because he, uh... <laughs> Seems like all these fights start with us chasing Nunu, and then four people come up that are like completely on top of each other, and then they kill us all. Oh, see, I, I probably should have used my ult, um because it gives you damage, and I didn't really... That's another thing I read on the forums after this, and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that too. So I felt kind of dumb. Um, <clears throat> this... Ooh. Uh, I don't know if I should be running... Well, pull, kiting two people away from the team fight is usually pretty freaking good, and I'm out of mana here again. So I don't know how I feel about... Oh, man. See, I used my W to kill him, but it didn't kill him, so that just pushed him further away. Um, so that's one problem with this build, is the mana. So maybe I should just try to go for more mana regen runes. I don't remember what the runes are. I think there was mana regen up in there, though. And uh, <clears throat> I did read about an interesting build on the forums where I think they do an AD Alistair. And uh, it looked like he had pretty good results. Like I think he was pretty high ranked, and he won a lot of games with it. And like results really speak for themselves more than anything else. Like uh, usually, actually, when I hunt for a build, I look at the comments, and that's the best indicator to see how good it is. If people say this build was awesome, I went nine two seventeen, and there's like a lot of posts like that, then. Usually it's probably a good build if like a lot of people said that, but then there's some builds that I just read and people don't really like say like, oh, this build owns or anything, and it's just like mediocre. So it's crazy how different your, your game experience can be with a character just by switching up your build, and that's one of the things I really like about this game, that you're rewarded for like studying it and knowing more about the items and everything like that. And, um, but I might try the AD Alistair build, um, cause the thing is, like, here you're really building support items, um, because you don't need tank items, cause the ult is the, is the only tank item you need. So why not, instead of support items, build AD items and deal a lot of damage? But then again, I don't want people getting mad at me. Oh yeah, so I'm like, I'll come down here and mess with Nunu, but I'm not going to W him because everybody's already on him. And that would be stupid, that's what bad Alistair would do. And I think I am tanking the tower here, so that was an ideal situation. Because um, I was tanking the tower, and they ran in and they're like, oh, let's get some kills because they're under the tower, but really the tower is not a factor here because I was the one tanking, and I have my ult up. <laughs> But then Renekton and them come, um, like, we really, yeah, I'm, I'm just leaving because I don't have my ult anymore, I'm not tanky, I'll probably knock that guy away, I don't know, I just tried to cue him, sometimes you can knock th people through walls and that's pretty funny, so that went in our favor, um, but so the kills are 26 to 32 so we're actually not behind that much on kills but as far as towers go towers go towers are also even i haven't really been keeping track of who's